I would say that if it wasn't the subject and the terminology is so familiar, you could preach a message on the name of Jesus and say, God has given you the heavenly authority. When he has assigned you to do something, you can take the authority you have and imprint it into the soft wax of the situation you are in and authorize heaven to go to work on your behalf. That's what this means. So as I'm, I want to move on from it, but I'm praying in the Holy Ghost, Lord, so you haven't exhausted it yet. What does a signet ring do? I said, well, the signet ring goes into the soft wax, even of people. On the day of Pentecost, when they preached, there were 2,000 converted. We're going to see more and more of this, but what is it? It's when God has real possession of a vessel. A few words spoken by them have the power to penetrate the veil and pierce the heart and fix an impression on the inside of people that they cannot shake. We don't see this a lot, but it does happen. Charles Finney was the first person who alerted me to this type of an anointing. He said that as an evangelist, when he would preach, he noticed that when the endowment of power was strong on him, just a few words or a few messages would break down the hardest resistance and people were coming to Christ. Then he noticed that he was laboring harder and harder with less fruit. And instead of just shrugging his shoulders, he went and prayed and said, why am I seeing less result for the same labor? And the Lord would show him something in his life he needed to adjust in order for that power to stay resident on him. It was the process of sanctifying him that he would have to deal with what was in his attitude, in his heart, in his, in his circumstance that had, in a sense, grieved or quenched that level of operation of the anointing. And he said, this is the habit of my entire life. When I would repent and come back to the Lord, the power would return in all its freshness. And I went forth and labored with a supernatural. I don't even think we realized that that, that phenomena could exist. But here's what he said. The endowment of power from on high was distinct in the book of Acts because of this. It wasn't the miracles the disciples did that proved that they had received the double portion or empowered from on high. They did miracles before. It augmented the amount of miracles, maybe the, the degree of miracles, but it wasn't something new. And uh, he said what was new was that just a few words from Peter's mouth resulted in 2,000 decisions. They never had that authority. They never had the power of the spoken word, hence the symbol of tongues of fire. The tongues of fire was meant to endorse the fact that this endowment of power would fill you with the Spirit of God to such a degree that you could speak and God would come through your mouth. There is so much more waiting for you over at LanceWalnell.com forward slash podcast. This was only an excerpt. This isn't the whole episode. There's so much over there. Be sure you go check it out. LanceWalnell.com forward slash podcast. See you over there.